Welcome to the Fragments of Eternity, the Starfinder game part 2. It is the 20th of April 2020. It is session 50, part 2. I'm Ryan the GM, here are the players. Hello. Hello. I'm Nico. Hi Nico. I'm Point Zora, the Vice Cap. Cap. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm uh, Colin. Yeah, I'm playing Michael Quinn, the operative operative okay. Greetings. I am Alex. And I play Weird, who may or may not be a cop, but he is an android mechanic. Mm. Mechanic. Hello. Bah. Bah. I am bah. Callum. I was not going to commit to that, I'm sorry. Hello, I am Callum. Hello, <laughs> Callum. Uh, I'm Callum. I will. Indeedly, be playing Zig, blood donor and mystical. That's it. Just blood donor and mystical, yeah. That's what mystical we're getting this time. Blood. Mystical. What was yeah. it? The, the Daleks are appearing in the game now, are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we will use your blood. <laughs> mystical blood. <laughs> How many are you? Mystical. Oh. Mystical. <laughs> Yes, and even one Dalek could wipe out all the Cybermen. <laughs> yes, it's just ludicrous. This is not what this is this country! Yes. I love the Daleks. I love them not because they're good villains, because they're the worst villains. They're, they're Willy the, Bins. Uh, they're Willy Bin can villains. Can mm -hmm. screaming Nazis, and it's amazing. Oh dear. Anyway, Tin Can Screaming Nazis is Colin's new band name. Um, mm. Yep. That's actually pretty decent. Uh tinning can screaming Nazi, a new fighting style. Um so meanwhile back in this game, um I think we fade back in on dishevelled sparks shuffling like a scurrying rodent out of the uh, medical place, looking probably more paranoid than ever. I am having to do more motions with his head because he's lost his sight in one eye now. And um I think we just hear Morty say, "Try not to give that guy any of your attention. He'll just—he's—he's off his rocker." Don't worry, I think I got rid of him. I kind of like Morty kind of just like scratches the back of his head, and then the camera does that thing where it zooms away out of the medical center and away up, and then like starts to like follow the flight path of the uh, shuttle as we catch up and fade inside to the shuttle. Um. Yeah, what's the chat on the way up, I guess, between the two of you and the shuttle? Um, to be much. I don't I, know what it is. I, I think that the Zora would probably go for like a snooze or something, since it's a long trip. I mean, I don't know, it like, depends if he's wanted to discuss the almost, like, ruckus that happened between the whole crew, right? Mostly versus the Queen. Uh, wait a little. I don't really know if I would. It's just kind of... Yeah, if the captain's not going to broach it, I don't think, like, who's going to be on. Yeah, so just have that kind I of... Mean, maybe just that awkward shot of just both of you sitting. Just... I could probably hug myself. Probably, like, put my feet up and try and go for a snooze. Because mm -hmm. it seems like the best course of action in a long trip. It's going to be quite boring. Unless like, like a whips at a guitar or something, you know. Play the guitar. Yeah, play the guitar. Uh, well. Yeah. Born. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um yeah, if that's the case then I think some time passes and then Yeah, I guess like you get like a a message on your com. It's just cool. unknown unknown recipient. Is I mean when you say message you mean like a Message, message, rather than someone is ringing. Yeah. Yeah, like a text message. Yeah, open. Yep. And it says, um, "Very pleased to see you. You've made it a Akaton side, because uh, they wouldn't say planet side. I think they just mean in the vicinity of coming. Um, right? Do you have a preferred rendezvous? Um, I'm good wherever. CC." 
I think I did see them for Hive Market, didn't I? Yep, and that is the right, reply you got. Right, you mean specifically within it? Um, the Hive Market's huge. Yeah. I mean, Daza is a city, right, as well. Do, like do we have a map of Hive Market or anything? No. Right, I wrote a decent number on knowing it, and I did say it seemed like a place you probably have visited, have visited there before. So I'm going to say probably would have some preference as to where to meet him and uh, it would probably be somewhere conspicuously public and central yeah like hive markets mostly um public right most of it mm. um because cheap somewhere with a cheap food place it is the black market essentially of hackathon like the most officialist black market there is mm. um the Places Whereas Daz is more like the Drow market. <laughs> Daz is more like the uh, weird religious pilgrimage site that for some reason people go to um, because the, again, fusion reactor there is like fucking pre-gap tech, so nobody's really sure how it works, but they just want to make sure all the things that go red go back to being green, you know? Hence all the workers that they bring Seems in. Seems wise. Yeah, because... Uh, something you might notice about Akaton as well is that massive power lines are fed from Daza to like random places across there because they can do that and it brings money to Daza which gives the money to hire people to come fix stuff right so yeah, yeah it's, this is the only way you could really get it because not many people would willingly go there because of how dangerous it is but they can afford to pay people to go there it's also maybe why places like, uh, sorry, people like Doctor and Asma Keklik obviously would relocate here because they can make some money given the fallout from Absalom, right? Yeah. So yeah, you get that. Health problems and somewhere that money's moving about. Mm, yeah. Right, yeah, the kind of constant flow of use, I guess, because, yeah, keep yourself busy and all that in these uh, radiation fueled times. Not to parallel too hard. But, um,. Yes! <laughs> but yeah, it so, was the best of times, it was the most radiation food of times. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, CC actually sends you. So yeah, I'll, I'll send him in response to that. Like, Let's move you back to the, somewhere. Just, just the map, I guess, of Akatoa, because yeah. that seems like the best place. I'll send him like a, a location that's pretty central and, you know, somewhere I know that's. A nice place for cheap food nearby and right. uh, yeah so you send all that and then uh, you get like another call back fairly quickly this time and it says why don't you come to me I'm in Booster City how far is that uh, that's a fear drive <laughs> how, what whereabouts are we in our journey Halfway up to space. I'll pass it by the captain if he's awake. Um, I'm awake. I'll be awake enough. I'll let you sleep more. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Nudge you a little and see. Captain, uh, CC is responding. He is currently in Booster City, which is a bit of a detour, but we start heading down now, we can arrive pretty quickly. Well, we may as well go there first then, if it's on the way. Cool. Yeah, do you want to like, not too far. Yeah. reprogram the ship then? Yep, yep. Um, Get me a check, buddy. Yep. Natural one, Oh, that's ship. not my best roll. It's okay, it's maybe just because you're less familiar with the place, right? Um, it's on the other side of the the rift, and you're generally south of the rift. Or your knowledge is generally south of the rift, I should say. Yeah. The Idial rift, or Idale. And uh, yeah, you reprogram that. Obviously, give or take the shuttle being a bit upset at the fact that it has to recalculate. And you can start working your way there. I uh, meanwhile back with uh, the other two. Meanwhile, 
with a you two are you gonna do anything to kill the time? Anything pressing you just wanna attend to? Go back to Echo's place. Yeah. Yeah, I second that. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. So we maybe follow you for a bit. As you said, I maybe just like is there a conversation about that openly? before you decide to do that, because that's probably something I want to focus on in the first. Yeah, Weird says, why don't we go to Edgar? I think Zig would be like, <clears throat> well, do you know where he is? Let's go to his last known location. Which I assume was all over the floor of their house. Mm -hmm. Up the walls a bit. I mean... That's a fair assumption, yeah. I, yeah, let's go. Is it the cool with that, yeah? Know... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the sooner we, the sooner we know why he's here, the the better for all of us. I think. Yes, yeah. it would be a nice change to have some information. Mm. <laughs> I guess you both agree to that. We just do a nice clock wipe, and then we. Oh, 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 oh. He's up here there. It's just you standing on that kind of metal grating balcony area. The access point to the living cube. Window all blown out, still door mangled. Is it basically like exactly the same, obviously, but obviously minusing the, the Edgar? Excuse me, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I mean, as far as you can tell, it's basically the same. Yeah. Yeah. Minus the Edgar. So much of what else was around here? So. Nothing really. It's about half an hour away from the noodle place, which is about half an hour-ish away and a bit from the medical place, right? Yep. Um, and in his plant there was... Like there was a bed, was a, there was like um, a kind of... A, the equivalent of a dresser, but it's mostly just like a working area, like a kind of desk area, um, with some drawers that were, again, like pulled out because Lyco searched the place. Um, okay. Yeah, there is a chair in the corner. I'd have a go and look over the desk and things. Yeah, like you look over, like it's nothing looks particularly hidden, right? Like you can check it all mm. out. You, yeah, it doesn't take long. As I say, like was pretty much opened and looked through everything. Um, yep. And yeah, there was like a chair in the corner, and that was it. It's like the most basic of you can live in here if you had to work here. It's like cheap, and that's it. Oh, his clothes, yeah. No, there's nothing here. Nothing like personal at all. Yep. No um, exciting papers on the desk. If you flash back to when Lyco was talking to the newly reformed Edgar, uh, he picked up his coat and put it on. Mm -hmm. and looked at how disappointed he was with his outfit and left. So that was pretty much the only personal effect besides the little black box that dispensed holographic cards. Which is also gone with him. Yeah, because Lyco yeah. threw him. Oh, yeah. Yep, so pretty much if you remember back from that episode, everything of note was really taken. They're still at the bloodstains, obviously. Um, it's all kind of like dried in now. I... So, yeah. um, would I be able to maybe attempt to um, mystical sniffer dog this. Yeah, just take off your helmet. Shenanigans. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> sure! Um, we should have saddle taped onto him. As long as, not on the as long as it's not stapled. <laughs> <laughs> um, Those are hermetic staples, how dare you? Yeah, like maybe being mildly familiar with like Edgar's sort of magical -y presence. Are you? Sure. Mm. Yes, yes, I definitely am. <laughs> what a silly question. Uh, I mean, like, I don't really know what you've got that you would do that with. I mean, if you've got any magic you want to use. Yeah, I was just I'm, I'm scrolling through spells. Like, I, d I don't want to just detect magic because it's, everything's magic. Although, I feel like he's probably a big magical being that would... Um, I 
maybe out uh, glow anyone else within the the vicinity within the city with the giant free gap fusion reactor pumping out unknown energy yeah okay that's just unknown energy it doesn't necessarily mean it's magical correct you might find that out soon though this is true yeah. so yeah I'll do that yeah if I may. do some detecting the magic you may as well yeah sure. it's worth it mm -hmm. yeah. we've got like no leads to go on um, I did click it oh ba -bow. Wow. Uh, yeah so how does that look do, do you like even hint at weird like what you're up to or do you just start going weird and shamany yeah, he kind of like kneels down and just like puts his hand on the ground and you know maybe like the all like the contacts, each part of him that's on contact with the ground probably glows. Mm -hmm. Um, and it is like he just like his eyes closed, kind of searching the magical auras with his mind. Yeah, and it is like. Hmm. See when you are in a deep sleep and you get woke up by what maybe becomes apparent that it was somebody hoovering right next to your bed, but really at the time when you woke up it just sounded like hell. Yeah. But that impression of overwhelming sensation happens when you open up your magical senses and you, yeah, you're just blinded, for lack of a better term. Blind. Light. Okay. Yep. I yeah, think, it's think quite painful, like, like staring at the sun. Stop immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, like detecting magic, yes, 100%, 10 million percent magic. Everywhere. That's a lot of magic. So much magic. Um, yeah, and um, I think it's a good maybe stand up. Probably like, like, in, like half try and catch his breath. Maybe that's kind of taken a wee bit out of him. Um, Mm. And um, you would stand up and just be like, oh, I'm "Just gonna need to find something substantial to locate him." Can you roll some kind of "I'm smart and can work shit out" skill? I don't know which one yeah. that is, but yeah, give me one of those. Yeah. Um, and if not, I think he'd probably just go to the noodle stand. Um. <laughs> Piloting, no. No. Let's see. What you got? I was gonna like maybe survival, but that's not really helpful. Um. Mm. Yeah, if you're all high enough, I can give you the answer with survival, yeah? Actually, I don't think that's... that's not that far a stretch. Yeah, I'll go with that. It's better than my sense motif. Yeah, it's not really a sense motif kind of question. Um, yeah, okay. I'll I'll give you a survival anyway. I can't really think of it. Anyway, give me survival, give me then piloting, and then give me mysticism. Fuck it, give me all of them. Okay, survival. Mm -hmm. Piloting. Uh, mysticism. Cool. If you were wanting to hide a signal of some kind, like say your ship in the wake of another ship, that would help, right? Yeah. So, you detecting magic, you see nothing but magic. Ever you're blinded, you're overwhelmed. It actually uh -huh. hurts with how much there is just here. I am. Um, yeah. It's maybe why the place is so appealing to crazy mystic people. I am. Um, uh huh. So maybe like um, it could be also be like uh, blamed for your distraction about just opening your helmet to the air. Maybe we could write that off narratively as that. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah. I don't think they would see it that way, but maybe that's. Yeah, and maybe that's because of the saturation. And um, yeah, like yeah, you're able with those like kind of overlapping skills to work out that maybe that's why you would come here. If you are a powerful magical signal, yeah, why not hide? Mother. Yeah, why not hide yeah. here when this is going to be the the big umbrella you need to hide under, right? Yeah, that is something um, that occurs to you. Whether or not it's true is irrelevant, but that is something that does occur to you based on those overlapping skills. This is why I hate Starfinder skill system. Those are garbage skills. Yeah. Um. 
I think um I think he would um turn to weird and be like There's just so much magical presence here, it's impossible to to track anything. Uh. Shall we and then I think he would maybe maybe kind of look towards the big maybe well and maybe in the I don't know if I know the direction of the the sort of um core reactor doobly doo. Um, uh, yeah, like it's not that difficult to work out because Daz is a circle, so it's at the center. Use part yeah. of the outer side and use are only like about an hour in um from the set like the the outside, sorry. It would take like yeah. maybe another two hours to get to the very center. Yeah, I think maybe they could just like say we could maybe start near the source. Do you think that you'd be able to detect anything up in the wake? Honestly, I don't know. You would also need better shielding to be closer to the the core. FYI. Uh huh. Probably can't ask them to turn it off. <laughs> Imagine, I had two seconds. Oh, routine maintenance. Maintenance crew coming in. A whole uh, bunch of random mystical here. beings. Uh, fuck off. You could <laughs> very easily ask them. <laughs> this just wouldn't lead to anything. Um, just pull the plug. They probably don't even know how. Just pull the plug. Yeah. <laughs> off. Done. As I said, a whole bunch of mystical entity bat type people fly away because they've been discovered. Energy <laughs> machine go... <laughs> Stop the presses. <laughs> yeah, so what's the plan? <laughs> you two. Uh, are there any neighbours around? Hey, if there are, they're keeping to themselves or they're already on shift. It's a good door knocking. Mm How'd -hmm. Zig feel about tapping on Rando's doors? I feel like he probably had to take a class in it. <laughs> I mean, you're probably the most experienced in it of everybody, yeah. Yeah. Probably Can I take a moment of your time to talk about our glorious entity, the sun? <laughs> um, I think between you and Lyco, yeah, you're probably the most versed in chap indoors. Uh, I think as well the, uh, the fact that you were the poster boy for a uh, car hole. You know, in like digital. Car hole. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You, you want you want your car in a hole? Car <laughs> hole. That's the place. <laughs> Wacky, car in a hole. Inflatable car hole. Um. <laughs> oh dear. But yes, so. Um. Either that or the the noodle stand. I guess. Let's go get some. Well. No, let's not get some noodles. But let's go check it out. Mm. Yeah, you might go to the noodle stand. And then I guess I guess probably it would it would take maybe. I don't think Zig knows the way to the noodle stand from here because he. No, probably not. You would have had to have yeah. passed nearby it though to get back to the ship. It's about half an hour yeah. from where you are, about thirty-five minutes away. So yeah, maybe maybe like Zig would start like walking like maybe the long way round. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, down towards where the shuttle was, and then up to back up towards the the noodle stand. Um, but maybe there's a you know quicker route from Edgar's to the noodle stand, just like just like round the corner. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So instead of only taking like thirty minutes, it'd take you know maybe forty five. Yeah. I so yeah, you just head that way. I I think while you're heading that way, we click back to the others in flight. I yeah. Yep, he's um. Are we coming along? I mean, you are coming along. If the timelines are in sync, you haven't went that far. I am. Um, quite frankly, it's not exactly. It's maybe not quite as far, but it's not that much of a short journey. We might be looking at nine hours instead of eleven, right? Um. But yeah, I think. I'm more interested to see if there's any more questions between you and. I guess. 
just to just to do something, I suppose I would ask. Uh, so, how trustworthy do you think this CC is? Uh you know, I I, I guess I uh, I got a sense of um, general pretty sincere guy, and I'm looking at what I know of him from his sort of public profile he um seems to be the sort of person who's interested in you know getting to the bottom of things whether or not the you know the path he's taking is always the the, the right one uh he, he definitely uh attracts a certain crowd uh maybe are a little little bit of you know the more of the the paranoid inclination and i uh i'm sure that reflects something in his own interests because uh well i think it's for a lot of the message boards like cc is a bit of a myth right like people assume it's like a just a username other people pick up as well okay um it's not necessarily like oh conspiracy craig's one dude that we can definitely pinpoint it's um, definitely a bit more like, oh yeah, of course it's CC post, you know? People just posting like a bit like anon, like anonymous. So, uh, I was about to say it's, a bit, it's almost like an anonymous. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Like it's all like a, a fucking, yeah, the least than anything else at this mm. point. It's like, cute. Kind of um, <laughs> like, Lyco might sorry. have more um, more specific kind of info based on the fact that he's maybe obviously had to track yeah. stuff through, like, by lazing like... with cybercrime divisions maybe in the past. Yeah, I, I think based on, I mean, just sort of to how, how he's acted, I think it was no surprise to Lyco that there was a man behind it rather than, yeah. you know, it's just like a, you know, whoever happens to be the site admin that day or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, think he, um, I think he definitely, he's perhaps seen stuff in his capacity uh, as as a steward that led him to think like oh yeah this this is clearly there is a person behind this and the you know push it in a certain way the uh, you know the the encourage certain certain groups to post and certain subjects to be posted about and we might be subtle about it but mm-hmm. they ultimately are like there's a clear um there there's a pa- there's a personality behind it mm-hmm. um well, how does that come so out in conversation then between the two of you? I, I'm not really sure how much of that he would actually say, mm-hmm. to be blunt. Uh, yeah, I don't want to discredit yourself this this far into the trip. Right, having said, like you know, I think he's he, you know he's got an ag- sort of he's got an agenda thing, but you know, he's not necessarily um, someone who's out to get us or would be. Like, Sorry. Not somebody to be necessarily like, well, they're not against the con. Seen to that agenda, I guess. I mean, uh, if you want to like say something in, in your character, I mean, I suppose like you feel more like, well, what exactly his agenda is, I don't know. I, I think it's almost more of like a mindset, like a sort of generalized distrust of the of the powers that be the sort of presiding order like he um he he, attra- he attracts a lot of uh alternative viewpoints you know and so that's he not... likes to question things basically well everyone questions things you know i i don't believe i mean Okay, not equally, but uh, one hundred percent. Like that's maybe not every species does it equally, but <laughs> generally speaking, you're having a conversation with everyone. They qu- they have a lot of like assumptions of their own, and they'll question anything that bumps against them in in a way they don't like. Like it's um something you learn on the job that everyone comes in with really. A strong set of how of perceptions of the world, and you kind of have to break those down over time. 
and accept that uh, sometimes your ideas don't quite hold up. I mean, it's like anything else. I mean, people 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 flatter themselves and say, "Oh, I'm asking the big question." I'm not saying that this guy doesn't, you know, he, that he isn't more informed than than some people. That he doesn't ask questions that are worth asking. But the reason that I particularly trawl through his website is because it attracts a lot of people who speak candidly only because they it just you know doesn't occur to them that people like me are looking at it uh, but we are and uh, and it's very helpful Can I just mention I really like the way Lyco talks like he's still a cop and his mate he is yeah right like, but I like that about not Lyco. one of them mm -hmm. but he is um because he still uses core. the same tools that he, oh yeah, no, that he, he learned. I mean, he and he still sees that he's working for. As far as he's concerned, he's still working for the same site, mm -hmm. mostly. Um, um, mostly. Yeah. So, how does that scene play out then between the two of you? Like, how what's Zora's reaction to like this? Uh... I think he would just be nodding, well, like taking it in, because I mean, he does again in a fucking Pat World cyborg. World, he'd probably got a lot of zero interest in that. Yeah, probably the the Vest will conquer the cyber world one day as soon as they've conquered he's, the physical world, yeah. He's yeah. probably thinking to himself, Mel Lake, at this point, I don't know, if it's a resource I need to start using. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> must accumulate okay. cyber power. Yeah, I must learn this in turn webs. The cyber Vesk? <laughs> it's almost like a new invention to him. Mm -hmm. Primitive. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I think with that, like we maybe fade back to the other investigative team. Smash cut. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we we've got you guys at the noodle stand, I guess. Yeah, noodles. <laughs> but also not noodles because deadly. Yes. Um. I think Does Edgar happen to be standing there? <laughs> Zig. <laughs> well, shoveling noodles <laughs> into his face. No. How <laughs> <laughs> have you been? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, no, but maybe that's the shot we open on, right? Maybe that, like, as you are approaching, Zig looks up and sees Edgar there. Like, it's just the same footage, obviously, for those at home. Um, as when he first saw it, and then, like, he blinks, and it's just, he's, Edgar's not there. And it's obviously a different point in time, you know? It's just Zig remembering the, the initial approach for getting like, mm. cinematic about it. Yeah, and I think if the seat was free, I think Zig would kind of pull himself up to where he was. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, Big showbad man shouts at you a bit. And showbad. What's he saying? He's asking him what you, what do you want in a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we going to be buying anything, Zig? No, but maybe he knows. Oh God! <laughs> it is happening again. I like the I direct the guy to come over. The show bed. Oh yeah, like he's standing in front of Zig. Like he's he's uh, at like the you know the back of the middle stand. In fact, I'm sure I had a picture for this. Um, At least they can understand show bed, right? You you bought a, you bought an app. It's fine. So far, yeah, show bad. That, mm -hmm. but it yep. made it difficult. <laughs> I've got a show bad feeling about this, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, the equivalent of that guy getting handed stuff is where Zig's sitting, and uh, the show bad's the person handing him it. So, yeah. Like, uh, if you yeah. have to approach Zig, you are approaching him. Okay, so I. Zig, do you speak show bad? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, and then ask the fella uh, if he has seen, and then go to describe Edgar. Um, how do you describe Edgar? Smarmy businessman. Guess, yeah, how would you describe Edgar? Um, <laughs> I'll give the him... twitchy man who was with me the other day. Yes, 
that. I think maybe maybe Zig would say that, like as he like got up into the bar and he was like, "I was here whenever I was here, not long ago, um, with the with the, the man who was a bit twitchy, and I I passed out." And I think he would look just kind of look at the um look at the noodle man mm. um just questioningly. I relay that. Relay that. It seems he can't understand. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. And um the guy is like, Oh yeah, you drove a business away for a couple of hours. I should probably charge you for that. Ha. Huh. But in a Brooklyn accent. And then a uh, He's like, are you just ordering or just taking up space in a Brooklyn accent? That depends if you can tell us if you've seen that guy that he was with today. Not since before. Have you seen him before that? His hands, his lower hands go on his hips. And his upper hands start tapping on the counter. He's like, Buy something. Or move along. Sure. I'll have some noodles if you could answer my questions while he, you prepare them. He kind of grunts and he's like, perfect. And then uh, he starts to like, you know, go into his big sizzling kind of pot thing and putting some into like a box and whatnot. And I was like, guy came here every day for about a week. Same time, every day. That's it. Nothing fancy. Ordered the same thing. What do you order? Noodles. Nothing no fancy. particular nope. preference on them? It's nothing added, just noodles. Is there another noodle place you go to? And he kind of like, he kind of stops like what he was doing briefly as if you've insulted him. He's like, none you'd want to go to. No, but in this case he probably wouldn't want to. But say he couldn't come back here. Why wouldn't he be able to come back here? Because he caused the scene. Twitch your tape. Yeah. Trouble. Hopefully not. But uh Are you just trouble? No, we're customers. And nods. Let's keep it that way. Nods again. Um, sure. Drink. And like points to like the various balls and flasks Please. and such. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think this comes to like what fifteen credits or some shit like that. Um, yep. He just sets like it all in front. Yeah, and he just plunks there. And he's like, right, no questions. Move on. Okay. Where else would he potentially go for noodles? And then he just describes another noodle place the other side of town. Yeah. And and if it goes into a lot of detail about how they don't prepare them the way he does, and they're fu- like they're much closer to the core, thus they're obviously um, more dangerous to outsiders. So that's why this is the best place to come to, and the, uh, oh, their God. ingredients aren't as fresh because they obviously don't want to travel as far out of the city to get them as he's willing to. But uh... like this guy's cousin specifically goes and kills the things he's feeding you. That's impressive. Um, or maybe chat a little bit about showbread hunting. Yeah, and it's, it's like Thanks. I mean, you probably know a tiny bit about showbread kind of warbands anyway. Um, yeah. from your time in Akaton, and it's kind of Mad Maxi out there, as you know, mm-hmm. in all senses of that. Yeah, so the fact that this is like a second revenue stream is probably more reliable because yeah people need to come here to work and then people need to eat while they're here so yeah yeah and the fact that they are like further away from the course probably good uh, especially if the stuff is as fresh as he claims it to be and um, means it's not really going to be completely wrecked by the time people probably eat it so it's probably going to yeah. be less irradi- like irradiated than the people eating it that's fair Unless it's like uh, yesterday's leftovers, right? <laughs> um, which are probably on another menu at a registry. Um, I would also then ask him about whether Edgar discussed business at all. I yeah, like narrows his eyes. I'm like, I don't listen to customer chatter. Kind of shakes his head. 
don't Beat understand most you. of it. Oh, yeah. Did like, you see him? Oh. He's just, he just kind of like, kind of grunts at his, he points at his ears with one of his top hands and he says, Never learned any other languages. Makes it easier to just get business done and move on. Less distractions. Ah, uh, yes. I imagine so. I took the opposite approach. I'm noticing. Uh, did you see him here with anyone else? He kind of stands there again and actually, like, you know, bottom hands on his hips, top hands, like, one cups to his elbow, another one starts to, like, rub at his face and his neck. And he's like, hmm. A blonde. Yes. Kind of like shakes his head. Never spoke to him, except once. I was a blonde. And he kind of looks at him. He's like, not your kind, not that that one's kind. And he looks around, and he's like, human. He kind of just nods. There's no humans about from the point too, so. Mm. But he, he finally finds the word for it. Like human. Did they look local? Ha! <laughs> he laughs. Humans don't last long here. Too, so. too squishy. Kind of looks you up and down your massive armor. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's a big guy. Is, like, I mean, this guy's a big guy as well. I mean, he is large, so. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What was that, Zig? Uh, yeah, uh, Zig's probably got um a bit of you know, kind of drummer syndrome on the go. Um, <laughs> you know, with like the knee, the knee going, and like the tapping on the tables, mm -hmm. um, while this conversation is. Eluding him. Yeah, and you're probably just staring, maybe like in between you and them. There's just this box of noodles, maybe driving home horrible memories from your hours yeah. ago. Bit of tape comes slowly undone from your health. Um, <laughs> now the guy kind of just grunts away and he's like, I like what you eat. Come back, tell your friends, let them know. Best noodles in Taza. Of course, that's a live one. I'd appreciate it. Him did it mention you? You can come back, you'll get a discount. They won't though. They have to pay. That's fair. Brooklyn accent. Um well, he just nods. Appreciate it. And then walk off. Aye. And then he, he just looks down at Zig. I think Zig does that like half second of like still kind of in a daze. And then jolts back to reality as he realizes Weird's walked off. Mm. You take the, pick up. I was gonna say, yeah, do you take the stuff, yeah, or do you leave it? I I think he'll just like take it and then maybe you know when he's out of eye line of the yeah the place the shop like hand it to someone. Yeah. Not just drop it in the bin next to the noodle bar. So, roll a <laughs> d one thousand for me, Zig. Oh God. I need you to get a thousand on this roll. Oh no. Or four. You'll find out. That's, That's okay. not a thousand. It wasn't Spark you handed it to. There you go. Okay. You didn't randomly just find them like in a garbage pile somewhere nearby. Um, but yeah, so what's your plan now? You guys, because I, I think I want them to land at Booster City. So yep. I need the equivalent of eight hours of RP from you guys. Uh, go to the noodle place. The other noodle place. Yeah. Have the same conversation. And yep. to be honest, like try and cross the city. A couple hours to cross the city. Investigate. Maybe weave your way through it a bit. You might need to then. It might take longer than just going from A to B because you might want to do it around the circumference to avoid the radiation. Yes. Because you don't want to cut in so. and out. To hit like, up any other noodle places we can on the way. Yeah. Um, just in case. Do you both want to give me... What was Navigate? It's probably survival, right? So does somebody want to give me a survival check and does somebody else want to give me some kind of diplomacy check? You just can do one each. I will do the survival, I think. I'll do the diplomacy, <laughs> right? 
No. Just, do <laughs> <laughs> Just shouts from the shuttle. Aye! Answer them! <laughs> Shakes fist in the sky. Fist diplomacy, of course. <laughs> Give me them rules. Okay. Oofed. This is not good for me. I don't know if that thing's... Yeah, mine's just taking a bit of time to get to me. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then, uh, This... Mm. That's quite not good. Did it come to me? Not for... Yep, there we go. Cool. So... Maybe... That's a good roll for me, by the way. Actually, it's perfect, because now that thing that Colin always comments on, that really it's my amazing ability to translate the story into what the dice say, but really it's just luck. Um, thank you, Colin. Uh, this I'm a very kind man. This <laughs> probably means it takes closer to those eight hours that I needed for you to get anywhere, because those are pretty bad rolls. So, yeah. Luckily, you don't navigate okay. towards danger zones. Um, luckily, there's music playing to warn you of those. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Music we don't own, sadly. And so, uh, that lets me get them in. It's all making me Donald, weirdly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just a, uh, what's his name, Mikey Cyrus? Um, for no reason. Um, Mikey Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that his name? What's hey, uh, call him Mikey. Oh, Miley's hot brother. Yeah. Um, what is his name? Can't remember. And do you remember he was in that um, Shake, 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 Shake and Bake It song? Oh, shake, shake, shake. oh, oh it was good as well. Yeah, it was, it was catchy. Really catchy. Yep, yep. Used uh, to shout out to out Mr. Out, Cyrus. Out yeah. Out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, meanwhile, back in the the shuttle. Sister's no. <laughs> so you, yeah, like I guess you get landing coordinates. Uh, it's like a private hangar. And uh, that's it. Let's move to the map again, shall we? I think it's Trace Cyrus. Trace, yeah. I think so. He looks like a trace, doesn't he? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that must be. <laughs> must be it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> must be after uh, it. Let's see, Trace <laughs> Cyrus. I'll just let's just answer this now. Last yes, thing not was a picture of him. He had done the typical transition into semi normie goth. Yeah, I'm about to share the comparison shots. I call it the page program, but that only makes sense if you are familiar with Pro Wrestler Page. Oh, wow. He's a big lad. Yeah. There you go. I Let's contend, go. and always have contended, and always will contend, that actually... In many ways, the emo scene was extremely good, and the hair was cool, and everyone who goes, oh my god, it's so embarrassing, is an idiot. I am cheering him at what I would have called a peak attraction for me personally. Um, because yeah, I agree, the emo look was good. Possibly still is. I was going to say, mm -hmm. possibly. Mm -hmm. Always. So, meanwhile, say. back in our game, not just... Oh, Looking at Trace Cyrus. Uh, shout out to Trace Cyrus if you ever hear this. Uh, hit us up. We'll shout get you a. Yeah. Funny. The Cyri. <laughs> the Cyri. We'll get a game with you guys if you want. I'll run it. Uh, guest starring uh, all the Starfinder people. Why not? Um, like subscribe. Shout out to Cyrus this. the Great. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Booster City. Crash. Booster yes. City. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you're given a uh, coordinates to like, yeah, a private hangar. Uh, booster cities. I mean, yeah, uh, people live here for some reason. Yeah, makes sense. Why? Who knows? Indeed. Uh, don't actually know if there's much about booster city in the. Um... Let's have a look. It's about everything gets boosted. Mhm. Mm uh... It's a city that if you're driving through. Uh, it's, it's... Sorry, I won't even continue with that. Well. I actually heard once that they built this city on rock and roll. Mm. Um, specifically rock, though. More than uh, roll. And uh, yeah, use land. I, the hangar is like in a piece of rock itself, just on the kind of outskirts of the city itself. Um, cool. Like, as if somebody lived in Arizona and had a big pool in their yard. Only the pool is a hangar door that opens sideways. Um, you know what? I can more or less picture that. Well yeah, done, Ryan. It's alright, isn't it? 
And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, you just land down. It's essentially like a big kind of ranch estate thing that you are in. Um, program the shuttle to go park inside, yeah. Mm. Bearing yeah. in mind that if this is a bad place, you won't be able to get out because that's likely to close up on you. I mean, it's a risk we have to take. I'm not getting this whole object, this objective done today. But, you know what? We're well on our way. We're making progress. Mm. Anyway, continue. Yeah, you just land, hangar door ominously rumbles and shuts over, and then a, like, fluorescent lights in a big warehouse all flickering on in the, the hangar bay. Um, full of junk, like, loads of random, like, scrap stuff all, like, put aside. The actual place itself is completely, like, immaculately clean, but there is, like, fairly sorted shelves of crap, is the best way to put it. Um... Almost as if there was, I guess, let me describe this without you reading into it, because it's probably just the best description I've got, but it's not to be read into at all. I um, Imagine somebody crashed a spaceship and then catalogued it all for evidence. It looks like that. Does that make sense? Um, I can see what you're going for. Yeah. yeah. Well, they cataloging, right? <laughs> Just for the vest conspiracy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, and then... Yeah, there's like lights and then you just can see a door that leads obviously somewhere. Only door in the place. Besides the roof access. Okay. What do you do? Go to door. Gung ho. Yeah, leave shuttle. Wander out. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not our show. <laughs> That's <all right. laughs> And also, I don't think we can just... You know, it'd be a bit rude to just sit here in the shuttle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wee bit. Yeah. We were already a wee bit fucked anyway at this point. If it does go down, so let's go. Yeah. So yeah, you just head through. I get to the door. Door, like, swooshes open as you approach it. So, and then, like, your comm buzzes again with another message that says, Come yeah. on in. The text message for you, yeah. Lyco. I open it just so he, you know, maybe gets like a red receipt Seen. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you head through that door, the big corridor. Um, kind of snakes a bit. Um, no windows or anything. You, you can tell, obviously, you're, you're somewhat underground. And, um, yep, uh, it goes on for about maybe like 10 minutes of walking, right? Okay. Yeah, it's. Yeah, and it does slope down ever so slightly. Um, so you know you're kind of going, going deeper. He's a prepper, I'm getting it, yep. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, yeah, you get there. Uh, another big door. This one looks like kind of more reinforced. As you approach, red light flicks to blue, flicks back to red above the door. Door slides open. And then there's... Um, if this was a movie, it would probably have something like ACDC playing, but we don't have the rights for that, so it's not that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of other good parody names for that, but yeah, we're, we're, we're good there, I think. Um, but, so it's some kind of well-known pop star music. We've not really talked about a lot of pop stars in this world, for some reason. I can't imagine why that's never come up for popular culture, but yeah. Um... Yeah, somewhere between ACDC and, I guess, Aqua. Um, shout out to Aqua. And, uh, um, uh, but we don't want that. Don't so want it's that. fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, you get that, and then you, there's like something working away, like with welding equipment and whatnot, off behind a big pile of stuff in the middle of a massive okay. workshop. This place is essentially a warehouse combo workshop. Fair enough. I, I will enter. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and enter, you know, as conspicuously as I can, you know, j- trying to draw attention to myself without jumping up and down and shouting, I am here, sort of thing. I'm trying to put myself in eye line. I think I'm with you. I think you're alright with that. Yeah. yeah, you're quite noticeable. And then you just, like, you hear sparks, you hear, like, the equivalent of um, like power tools being used. You uh, finally like round the corner of the pile of stuff, and you finally get your eyes locked onto conspiracy, Craig. 
Who is this man? Uh huh. It's Craig. Of course. Spirissa. He lo just looks up and then you just hear like incomprehensible clicks, yelpings, and bizarre mutterings. They're crying. Hi! And it is just like. <laughs> that's what you get. And he runs up to you really, really quickly, scampers over with all of his limbs, and he looks you up and down, and goes to shake your hand. I readily shake his hand. Shakes your I... hand, bites your hand, lets it go. Uh, looks at Zora. Goes to shake your hand. <laughs> he bites my hand. <laughs> probably gonna be more. I will do. I will do the same. Yeah, shakes your hand and bites it also. I will bite it back. How? How are you gonna bite his hand? Because. Yeah. No. Literally, how? Through what mechanism? Your face is too large. Also, <laughs> you're, you're in a spacesuit. Uh, oh yeah, that's true. Fine. Unless you are coming out of those. Nah. <laughs> nah. No, I think I think I would have lowered my, uh, yep. you know, face covering or whatever, whatever. It, <laughs> it's a at the very least. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you all the same noises consistently probably hasn't stopped. Yeah. Being audible, but nothing uh, like. <laughs> Nothing's translatable from what I can imagine. <laughs> uh, I, um, so you know me, I'm like, oh, this is my captain, Zora the Abyss, Dora, and I sort of gesture to him as an introduction. It hands you a wrench, Zora. Uh, and it runs away oh. back to its pile of stuff it was working on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's exact. This is my reaction. <laughs> so Zora, um, guess, the Vesk uh, conquered Skitramanders. Um, oh. Insofar as you turned up on the planet and you said we're in charge, they didn't argue. They just went about their business anyway. And then the Vesk kind of went okay, and then kind of left disappointed. Because there's no the fight. Same right now. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's like what I'm thinking. It's like, can I actually? No, can I, I roll culture and skittermanders? Because they're fairly rare, aren't they? Like we don't see too many of them. Like right. a lot of them came through with the Vesk when the Vesk brought mm -hmm. obviously themselves to this galaxy. I, I just want to because I know that they tend to congregate for specific purposes, um, and then sort of go their separate ways. But I don't know, like if it's normal for them to be lonerish types in their own big compounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I kind of want to roll culture just to see how what Lyco would think of that. Why don't you roll culture it? then sense motive to see if that gives us a better idea of that? Okay, culture. So definitely the session of like dual skill rolls. Um, this this is the Lyco rolling coming into uh, play. Yeah, no, I think so. Yeah, I think you've got enough to work on the. Aren't they normally found in bigger groups? There was probably a dossier yeah. long ago that you thought these things look cute but annoying as fuck. Um, yeah, like if they're doing something, it's generally a lot of them have got gathered together to do it. Yeah, don't worry about the Skittermander, worry about knows several. Where. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But maybe this is what they do when they fucked off to go in those where after they've done the thing that they gathered together to do. Mm -hmm. So but he's it, like, I, I think like was thinking, this, this isn't what I was expecting from Skittermanders, but. You know, they're odd creatures. I've not encountered much of them before. Maybe this is normal. Maybe this is what they get up to when no one's looking. Who knows? Um, no, I'm yeah. gonna ask I think, like, as, yeah, as you're sitting, like, you're, you're thinking about all this. I don't know if you see any of it to, like, Zora or not, but um, <clears throat> CC runs all the way back over it, like, just very, like, <laughs> very brisk movements all the way back to Zora, and then, like, hits you in the leg and puts your, its hand out for the wrench. Uh, oh. Give it the wrench. Takes the wrench, looks at you with like a really like narrow eyed look, and just keeps going <laughs> and runs uh, back. Do you speak any common? And you hear like from like speakers, uh, the music gets muted, and goes, "Of course I do." Ah, good. That's fantastic. I thought as much. Wait, it's, it still just works away. <laughs> Okay. Um, 
all of it. So... <laughs> regarding what we discussed... Previously... Um... I'm curious about the situation here, and I... I'm sure you probably have things that you'd... Like to ask myself or the captain. And then, like, there's no response, and then you hear the, uh, like, a wrench hitting a wall as the little the scout manager just launches it behind it. <laughs> it holds up some weird backpack contraption uh, and just, like, <laughs> yelps something audibly. And then is slowly trying to climb into it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Can we assist? Well, uh... <laughs> Just kind of unnecessary over the audio. Completed. Necessary. <laughs> Completed. I. I'm probably looking around at the speakers in confusion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And the thing just like, yep, it's like rolling around the floor trying to like get into this equipment it's just built. Uh. Okay. Who are we actually meeting just now? The thing just starts like yelping a bit like some kind of confused pet as it like its head is the pivot point as it start, slowly starts like pivoting on the ground in circles trying to okay. put on this equipment. It's like rolling okay. around really like erratically. So there's no response. I just look at the captain, <laughs> sort of horror stricken. <laughs> <laughs> um, captain, I've never really had to deal with skitter manners. I don't, don't know what. I love people chose not to deal with them. Um, yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that's maybe that hits home as well for Lyco, because mm -hmm. I mean the vest conquer everything they met until the, the the swarm happened, right? So the idea that you know, like the Scaramander planet was in the Viscarium, that's got like it is part of the Viscarium as far as the Vesk are concerned. It's just not necessarily part of the Viscarium as far as the Scaramanders care. Yeah. Like, n did they really notice being conquered? No. Right, they just did what yeah, they did. Yeah, they're not bothered with politics. Or they do, do not give us much of no. anything, really. No, <laughs> which is why this this thing is a weird, right? It's yeah, it's it is confusing. Which is why he's like, "Is this? Are you Craig? Is is Craig mm -hmm. hiding somewhere, talking to us in speakers occasionally? <laughs> Does Craig have a pet skitter reminder? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is happening? So the thing like finally stops like rolling around, and it now looks like it's in the equivalent of a small kind of like tech bodysuit thing um, and it's kind of lying it's facing the ceiling as if kind of knackered panting ever so slightly in it's little suit of armour um, and then it kind of like pops up to like Lyco's height with these little legs that pop out of its backpack a bit Dr. Octopussy yeah and it kind uh, of just hello. like clacks its way towards a wall away from you guys and it goes to like climb a wall and it just falls over but it doesn't hit the ground the legs self right itself so it never actually kind of falls and the wee thing just ragdolls in the middle <laughs> and it's like complaining the whole time <laughs> what the fuck is happening <sighs> and if you said it just comes up testing over the air uh, uh, okay you wouldn't have said what the fuck is <laughs> happening because it's a little too <laughs> good for like in front of new people um uh okay. Uh do you do you want us to wait anywhere or There's like no <laughs> response. And the thing just like turns pivots and like as if remembering you are still there. All the legs retract and the thing hits the ground. Um and it just scuttles back over to you. And it just looks up to the two of you. And just slowly like blinks and looks between the two of you. Um, so, business? Uh, 
translation. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I wish I'd just scared my uh, uh, Yeah, I send, I, I open my com and send uh, Craig a question mark. I will use my auto translate function. It doesn't have Scaramander. Oh, of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. They're not that. I know. Common. <laughs> I know. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Yes, question mark. I mean, maybe the Obsidian Order would have one, right? Or the Obsidian Star, not the Obsidian Order, that's a uh, Deep Space Nine. But the Obsidian Star might have actual translation tech for it. Uh, maybe. But you'd need to make contact with them, obviously. Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to do that, so... Okay. That's kinda... I mean, Demogesh might have some as well, if you wanted to call him. Uh, just have a week call as well, that'd be pretty much what I'd be doing. Yeah, so. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, yes, yeah, so like as you're doing that, it's, it's still just looking between the two of you, like expectantly, as if, well, I'm done what I was supposed to do. You know that kind of look, as if yeah. I have completed my task. It's in its me its metal pajamas. So, um, so yeah, I, I would have sent a message to to Chris communicator just to see if it answers one. Yeah, and I think maybe like after a couple of seconds, it looks down at its like wrist. And then just looks at it and goes, <laughs> and then like just swipes away the message, points at its wrist and points at you. Yeah. Um. I gotta say, not quite what I was expecting. It comes up over the the audio. Likewise. I look back at the speakers like, in confusion. We've n n never mind. Um, then, it, then it comes up as you look at the speakers and look back at it. And then over the speakers, it says, "You're shorter in person." Uh -huh. <laughs> I <look down> at <laughs> it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, look, I uh, I'm sure we we could discuss some. Mutually uh, matters of mutual interest. I, I, uh, I'm about to embark on a little mission that'll take me south of Hive Market. That might perhaps be of interest to you. It kind of forward rules between the two of you. Okay. <laughs> it comes over the speakers. Salvage mission, you said. I didn't say salvage mission, but yes, I was listening. Oh, right. Previously, of course. Also, your comms are open. Yeah, this is why I don't like using... So, I know who's watching. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am uh, I'm going to try and... Uh, like, the robotic legs deploy again and move the thing back to like being in the front of you, even though it seems reluctant to move back. It's clawing at the floor. And then it just kind of like gets suspended, and then the legs retract and it hits the ground again. It looks up at both of you. <clears throat> Would you care to join us on our little uh, venture? And it just like nods really like profusely, and like the shakes best. both your hands again. I uh, uh, I think you you will enjoy. Uh, it then starts it just runs off company. as you talk at it, it runs off and like picks up a backpack and just starts shoving stuff in it. From all over the um, room. Um the absent weird and Zig, who it occurs to me you somewhat resemble a combination of <laughs> only much smaller. It comes up over the, the comms. And when do we it. leave? Right away? Yeah, can do. Captain? Um, <laughs> I would whisper ship. Ask about getting in touch with the ship. Oh, yeah, you might be able to assist us in this. Probably already know. We're hoping to get in touch with our other, well, not other ship, our ship, the captain's ship, the final hour. Through yes. secure channels, you understand. In orbit over versus. Correct. What would you like to say to them? Uh, 
um, this, well, this thing started climbing a shelf with those metal okay. arms now. To come here to Akaton to Devon, where do we want to meet them? Daza? Oh. Do we want to meet them in Daza? Um, perhaps somewhere less radioactive. We may not be recovered enough to make a journey, so perhaps... One of those big metal shelving units falls over. True, true. Right. So yeah, a big crashing awesome. noise. I think I take an instinctive couple of steps forward to check on. It's a little thing like the arms push through all the junk and lift it out. The, yeah, you're you're doing okay there. Uh, yeah, we could. Uh, Let's try like fight the bag free of all the stuff that's fell on top of it. Wanted to venture out to Hive Market also, so if we Hive make Market that, is an increased that. risk. Why not go to the source? Of course, do I know what he means by that? Uh, I would raise an eye bridge. Mm -hmm. Do I have to culture roll? No, like. It means the, the the coordinates, the source of the coordinates for the. Oh right, crash the source, site. right. No, sorry. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah um, it just means like why not go to where we need to go? Why go somewhere else? Uh, honestly, as a waypoint, and also because one of our crew wants to go there, but we can go there after if you would prefer to go straight to the source and see what's happening. Finally, freeze the bag out, and half the contents of the bag obviously fall out as it's done. So, um, it doesn't pick them up; it just goes for new things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Okay, Captain. To uh, to the down Deoxian ship, I suppose. I would not. And Ramasethu, I should warn you: your mind may be intruded if you're with us when we make the journey. There's just no response. The thing is just like standing in front of you eagerly now. All the kind of arms are like limp and trailing behind it, and it's just dragging this bag. Okay. And it's just the oxygen, you. you see. Um, ah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably an affirmative. Uh, uh, I will lead on back to the ship. And then it runs past you through the door. You just came in. Or not. I will follow. <laughs> and those legs trail uh, behind it, flapping everywhere. <laughs> You know, I don't think there are any of those in the stewards. Just, just a thought. Anyway, <laughs> I would just be. I didn't expect a scalamander. I'm, I'm pretty awestruck at this point. <laughs> you know, to, to be, be honest, fair, like... I don't think anyone really ever expects a scalamander. They, <laughs> they tend to surprise you. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my reaction. Just yeah. uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like a pat the captain in the arm, and then just like follow on after him. Yeah, the and creek. I think that's maybe a, a good place to leave it then. Maybe that that scene of you two just heading through the door towards the hangar. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I think that's a good place to leave it now. I just getting on a bit in time. But I'm glad we managed to get some kind of introduction done. That was good. What would you just like to call the session? Nobody expects a scalamander. Uh... <laughs> it's a very long session title, though. that's the only problem. <laughs> Our main weapons are fear, surprise, and an almost fanatical dedication to the scalamander. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about long session titles, yeah. Um, any suggestions, anyone? Type it in chat for us if you have. Uh, I think I don't have any coming to mind at the moment. I was muted. Yeah, you were. You're always Welcome muted. Back. I'm always muted. I was saying, he only wants your blood. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> he only wants. He only blood. wants your blood. Uh, yeah, he only wants your blood. I'm trying to think of anything else. Like so, to summarize: medical attention for the queen, expensive <laughs> medical attention for the queen, blood donations. And um Scarmanders. Scarmanders. Uh, Bloody medical uh, bills. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying 
trying to think. Bloody bells. Uh, even just um, you know, how it just CC seems appropriate as well. Sure. Um, how many CCs of blood did you give? Right. So I mean, there. We yeah, fair, fair. I didn't even thought of that. I um, I'm hoping that we can cross off number three and four next session. We're not on goals yet, buddy. We're not on goals. We're on titles just now, Colin. I know. Hush, hush your mouth. My brain is ahead of y'all. Hush your mouth. What are we picking? Somebody voting something, or type more suggestions. Vote. My type. brain sure is working on. You're just making it take react. longer. <laughs> I know, but because I'm trying to find an emoji that is fitting to react with. There you go. Mm -hmm. The classic, the traditional. Perfect. I'll also I'll eggplant because I like the eggplant. Yeah, same. Uh... I might finally go ahead and get that eggplant tattoo once this is all over. You know what the fucking shutdown has made me do? It's made me want more tattoos. I don't know why. So we're gonna My go dad for... was talking about wanting a tattoo yesterday. That wow. means you should buy a tattoo gun. That's That's what your body is telling you. I shouldn't. Have you seen my ability to draw? It's not... If you do, it, you can tattoo my dad. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> That's right. Practice does make and perfect. I mean, You've got like two arms, two legs, a whole body to practice on. You, I, you know what? You haven't... You haven't met my ex. <laughs> That's all I'm saying! <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Well then. That's the title done. He only wants your blood. Let's look at goals. You haven't you only met me. Right. your blood. <laughs> well then. Goals. My goal isn't done yet. Goals. Oh, but it's fine. Even your story. One day we will get it done. We're, we're on our way. Misery stuff is today. Misery. Yeah, we're, we're on our way to the uh, the wreckage and we can perhaps establish a nice little relationship maybe get some money off him and establish that we're good for the stuff and therefore he might be more inclined to give us good deals so we have potentially set us up a financial relationship with kebab, mm -hmm. kebab. um we're gonna need to do that next session but we are we're starting towards one that's a good strong first step mm -hmm. yeah. um Establish healthy boundaries between the party members. That might be more difficult. Mm. Oh, no, now that we've got the queen chained down, we can leave her there. And, uh, <laughs> and naked. I'm trying to avoid that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this when you've sold her to like some fighting pit? <laughs> uh, I trust Naz McKechlick. Naz McKechlick has never steered me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know that he, you're actually his like science project. He's been putting those implants into you for years. No, it started before ever, mate. I'm fine. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, like I feel like these feelings have got in touch with the final lover now that you've, I guess, no, been assaulted by conspiracy. I Creek. think conspiracy Creek will help us do that. Uh -huh. And we've met him, and. Uh... Thing is, like you mentioned think... about getting in touch. Then you said, "Let's go to the salvage," and the little thing went, "Okay, let's go." So, <laughs> do you think we can just sort of have done that in the space between sessions? Then, I, I feel like you maybe need to remind it that you asked it to do something. Yes, that's sort of what I was. Because you've kind of given it a new thing to think about. We need to. We need to push Craig onto. Did he come up with that name himself? Does Skitmanders have names? I have no idea. You might not ask. Well, Skitmanders have crap names. You racist. <laughs> but they don't really seem to have any meaningful social structure. They just meet up, make things, and then fuck off. Yeah, but that's ah, I mean, maybe. Ah, do you so know do what? I. Like we maybe we name. don't have any meaningful social structure, and their yeah. way is the correct. I mean, to be fair, yeah. the Barai literally don't because they're not a species; they're a disease <laughs> that happens to people. When you die, you're a disease. So, I think that you're almost able to do three because... I think we'll get that. Yeah, yeah I think time. if you can remind Craig to actually do the contacting of La Hora Final, then yeah, maybe. Yes. But I feel like you need to make sure Craig does one task first yeah. before you suggest multiple tasks. No, it's a good idea. Um, so that's definitely a thing. I think the establishing a healthy boundaries between um, 
party members might be something that might take at least two sessions, I think, from now. Uh, you might be able to do it next session if you just can get everybody back together. Um, but, yeah. That'll be interesting. That's how long uh, Bones AJ? Mamasefa? Not yet. I kind of hope we get that done, but we're well in the way again. Probably arrive there next session, and I don't see any reason why we won't be able to resolve that. Yeah, and we've got the other kind of detective squad on the Balaskal as well, right? Um, of course. Because Discover Why it was an Akaton. That's what the other two are kind of looking up just now. So, depends mm -hmm. if you want to like reconcile your forces or if you want to keep separate. And I think keep separate for a little bit because like, I kind of have to do this alone anyway. So, yeah, it makes sense to maximize their ability to do shit and kind of have the, the captain's in a bit of an awkward position. So, he's probably going to have to deal with uh, CC. Yeah. <laughs> Might change my goal to discover every noodle stand on Akaton. <laughs> I think I'm almost there. Almost, yeah. Yeah, definitely almost there. At least did, like the northern half of the circle city, yeah. Um but, I mean yeah, like you've got a bunch of stuff. Has anyone wanna change how the goals are worded just now? Good for now. Happy as is? Yeah. Lyco, Zig. Yeah. I'm actually happy. happy with that. Yeah, cool. I think um, depending on how Colin's goal goes, right? So ignoring three, because we discussed three about how that could be done if you remind Craig that yeah. you do it before you just leave that hanger. Um, that's kind of done. Uh, then four can be done next week if that's what you focus on. Um, I think I, I'm definitely think that done next week. I'm pretty confident. Depending on the results of four depend on one because the goal that kind of ties them together the person that ties them together is Bob who's an immediate source of income mm. unless you find somebody else to deal with so hey, yeah. if she says look, 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 you can't do that but what if you shot him for me <laughs> then you know mm. he keeps on sending idiots out to try and steal my shit <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, realistically, the only thing he's doing is resupplying her lost crew members. Right? I should direct more people there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that, I'm not a bastard. But yeah, so I think that's like... I mean, a bastard. do you know if we actually If he do, didn't like the people. If we talk less about things like Trace Cyrus next week... We might be able to I clear disagree. The, no, I'm might, strongly against this. We might, and, uh, we might be able to clear all five goals. I think we can do both. I think we can do both through the power of positive <laughs> thinking and being willing to go on to like 12 o'clock. <laughs> Aye, the following day. Um, <laughs> no, I think we're good there for goals for now. I think you all have good direction for your goals, right? Does anybody think any goal is not pursuable? Um, no. I mean, my, my top one at the moment, maybe, but... We'll see. Okay, so Depends. Because yeah. I always got the assumption that Bob was like, would get equipment out of him. It wasn't really income. Would get out of him. So, was that not what it was? Yeah, know. but let me put this this way. He has exotic items. You're going to give him exotic items, so he's either going to buy them from you or trade you. In which case, yeah. you're going to have and made something. And selling them. Because then and you could sell stuff again. So either way, you'll have income. It might not be credits. True. Right? But right fair enough. It'll yeah, be yeah, stuff of like, value. Yes, kind of what we need yeah, the income for in the grand scheme of things. That's still like, we And also food and then making sure the ship flies. And yeah. I've always, There'll always be enough to, to live. That's one thing I can guarantee for my crew. There's always be enough to live. <laughs> Um, it's, you know what? It's not a bad system. Let us go to, <clears throat> since we're happy with goals, I... The, the rundown chat, and I think I want to start with Alex. Yes. Or else. I had a jolly good time. Happy Thank 50th. You, Happy 50th to you too. Thank you. You don't look a day over 33. Thank you. I do my best to <laughs> deny that as well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
No, it was it was very fun. I enjoyed uh, speaking to Sparks. You're not cop though, are you? No. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I Literally blew a bulb in his face. Yeah, I think Weird was just having one of those days. Um, <laughs> where he was wanting to mess with someone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're getting slowly darker with weird, aren't we? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just think he's getting an increasingly short fuse of people. Mm. I think uh, he's got slightly less patience. On the plus side, right? You maybe have a bit more understanding as to what was up with the queen, though, from this session. Mm. Like, you got a, a good bit of information True. about the, yeah. the weird effects this place has on like dark elves specifically. Yeah. So next time we go into battle, Sig casts a radiate on her. Yeah, and she um, hulks out. She hulks <laughs> out and just goes, yeah. And then we, you know, maybe get a medical attention. Yeah, the sun's getting off a low, Queenie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, oh, it was the reveal of Conspiracy Craig was great. Um, good. Oh, but, good. Glad you I'm pretty it. sure I've got empty language slots, so Skid Amanda would definitely be something. I do tough. too, and you know what? I, I have. I literally have. Like, and as per the perfect narrative, you could definitely. Utilize the time to to learn Skittermander now as a something you have worked on dot 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 because let's face it that's how languages are stupid. And uh, I mean I would have already filled it up, but I couldn't find any other languages in the book. <laughs> so um, make them up at that point. Honestly. I think you just need to be exposed to the language to learn it though. Does that make sense? Like I don't think somebody went yeah. like I feel like it, it probably made no there was no discernible way to translate a bunch of Skittermanders working on a project that was probably filmed at some point for like research purposes. Mm-hmm. It just seemed like weird chitterings to each other. And then scientists have debated the meanings of language for ages with them. Um but if you worked with C C for it, yeah, you can one hundred percent put in Skittermander as a language. Um as long as you make sure that's the only thing he focuses on, you're good. I oh, know, I'm getting, I'm getting on some great things. <laughs> some great projects. Um, I think me and Craig will get on. Yeah, you, Craig, and Alice is a, and Zig are going to just blow up the world. There's, let's face there's it. There's far too many arms in that pile. Oh, yeah. Um, also, as soon as Alice sees your new upgrades, I mean... Jealousy. Yep. Just wait till you see what no. she's upgraded since you've last seen her. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Mm-hmm. Alice um, is the ship. Yep. Yep. Her and Finn. Objects in space. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Are you alive? Nah. <laughs> um, Am I alive? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, like, we had. I think we started with you with the. um. Of the, the shuttle, like, debacle yep. of taking the Queen off to medicalness. <laughs> Glad to yeah. a nice wee cameo from Nazma Kicklick. That was uh, good. Mm-hmm. We're getting to use all those languages. Yep, yep. Uh-huh. I, I just liked that character, like, for no other reason other than they were just a normal NPC doctor. Like, it's sometimes nice to have, like, nothing else to a character other than they're just... Screw him and all his money. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, um, Morty continues to be endearing. Yeah. Uh-huh. I quite like Morty. Morty like, did, yeah, kind of... I almost feel bad that he seems threatened by me. Yeah. Although I probably did try to deliberately instill that. Mm-hmm. When necessary. I need so. my problem solved. I will solve those problems any way I can. Sorry, yeah, so Monty. I feel like it's it's almost weird taking a Nix Five approach and transplanting into the social space. It's maybe like the Queen's rubbed off on you a bit. Not gonna lie. That's yeah. been a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably <laughs> just a little, a little bit of residual fury as well from yeah things that happened an hour before. Yeah. Right. And then like, you had to actually take her to get help. Yeah. And then interact with some nut jobs, and uh, <laughs> yeah, leeches, my friend, leeches. Um, I got to show them off at least, but no, that was really fun. Yeah, I got. I'm um, glad you enjoyed and Zig it. And being a nice pro-social little Yasoki giving blood. Mm-hmm. Yep. Really stepping up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can't wait till the, he gets the the blood test results back. Things I never thought I'd say in an RP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ethel, so are we segue into Zig. Yeah, I had a wonderful 50th. That was fantastic. Good, I'm glad. Happy 50th. Um, happy 50th to all. Mm. Um, Go on, good night. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed the the um, multiple times where 
Everyone's just speaking their own language, and Zig doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. Just a I'm lot just going on. have a walking, walking linguistic... Um, the Rosetta Stone, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's good. Just great. I love... I love um, all of Lyco and the captain's antics, get reminder, oh, yeah. made me so yeah. happy. Made me so, so happy. It was so good. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, damn, I just don't, just don't know what Edgar is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You'd think he'd leave a note or something, you know? I know, right? It's, it's a mystery. Like, I am here. To be fair, like, you've made reasonable progress on that already, right? Like, you've got a, a potential reason why you might have came here. Yes. Right? Like, as you um, literally said yourself, he's a big magical entity, right? And then you notice there's a bigger magical entity. Yeah. How do you hide a big magical entity? Yeah. In a bigger one. Yeah. So, that's, I mean, a reasonable lead to follow up on. How do you put out a fire? More fire! More fire! More fire! Um, I loved giving blood. It was, it was just, <laughs> yeah. I just felt good about it. I felt good about myself. I felt good about Zig. I was like, yeah. Yeah, more more people should get blood. Yeah. And um, you know, what's better than like sun blood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The best blood. Victory is life. Um, <laughs> it's, where, it's where my blood glows. Mm. Um, Blows up. <laughs> the entire medical facility breaks the queen's chains. She goes in a fucking. A new rampage. son is born. Yeah. Let's just hope they don't accidentally give the queen your blood. Kills her, fixes oh her. That would be bad. Fixes all her wounds. She becomes empowered by the light. Mm -hmm. And a bad light. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, <laughs> no, it was all in all just really good. I mean, basically everything that Alex said. As <laughs> well. Well, it's a cop out. I'll add that. I'll add that. You know. Uh, la 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 how many sessions has that been? That has been since they originally went to look up stuff on forums in a space box, which was between Nix5 you know and Zig, which was very early. Did you always expect he would be part of the campaign, or was it when I actually went out the way to sort of like get attention of something? Oh, as, as, soon, as soon as you needed something like that, as soon as Conspiracy Creek was born in the game, I, I put a thought into him. Cool. Um... Yeah, it felt like it was a fairly natural build up, and I liked that. Also, I... as I said, Akaton's been in the the works for a while for me. Yeah, um, structure wise, so. But it, as I said, it definitely felt very natural. It, I I honestly like if you'd said, oh no no, I actually had really only implied plans for him to be like a background figure that was never really there, and blah blah blah, might be a joke or there. It wouldn't um, have came up necessarily if you hadn't. Did what you did mm -hmm. on the Castrovel, though, right? So you chose subconscious or like unconsciously, I should say, right? unwillingly, unwittingly, whatever. You picked my moment to put him in for me because you're the one that put your yeah. hand into the the pond and then the skitter man bites it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So that was uh, a nice bit of payoff for a long build up. You might also now realise why or how some one entity could possibly multitask all of the crazy forum post ideas because yeah, they don't, they just literally do it one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> just possessed of pure six year old energy. Mm -hmm. uh, which is is really quite something coming from like a six armed Lilo and Stitch. Which one was the alien and which one was the non alien? Stitch is the alien. Yeah. Stitch is the alien. Never seen that film. Depends who you're talking about from from like One Stitch's of point of view. Yeah, you know, there's their films. I, listen, I know yeah. it because my first girlfriend used to do an impersonation of the alien all the time. But that's uh, why I know was it's a, a thing. war criminal? Uh, no, the voice. <laughs> not not oh, war okay. crimes. There are war crimes. I thought it was a kids' film. Are they good war crimes? Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, that's that's why Stitch is imprisoned. Yeah. I mean, look, he's a biological weapon. 
It's actually it's really, to destroy. It's a it's really not his fault. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't worry, the anyway. professor who creates him is also locked up mm -hmm. and escapes. So, well, it's an I, I need to watch this stuff. Welcome um, to the Lilo and Stitch podcast. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Going into the early the, uh, the, the, the morning. <laughs> the Metro Station video was peak. Uh, was yeah. Peak yeah. Trace Shout out to Trace Science. Um, yep. Again. The, the piercings. The hair. Anyway, uh, yeah. Stay so, on target. Boy. So yeah, uh, trying. Um, so yeah, that was lovely. It was fun. It was cute. It happy fiftieth. Yeah. Fucking nightmarish. Happy fiftieth. Um, <laughs> it was mortifying for both me and the captain. <laughs> I enjoyed um, Zig sort of being dragged around bewildered. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it bewildered a with a goal. Soul sometimes. Mm -hmm. No offense, but like there, there really is like a tendency for life just to pull Zig along. Um, yeah, and I, uh, oh, the thing is, when Zig pulls at good. life, though, people die. Like, life gives you lemons, you kill them. Um, <laughs> and life gives it, you lemons, ready? Right? Mind link. <laughs> well, we, we're getting to you know, getting to put his uh, his his skills to use, uh, is socially, uh, was cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. That was a, a little bit of him showing off how broad a character he is that he's not he's not despite the fact that he might be the one who's most likely to spend time cooped up working on something mm -hmm. that's not the core of who he is he is actually interested in other people and other beings and other other cultures and what have you um the introduction for a weird and cc is going to take ages because he's going to have to bite all yep. of his hands um <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool uh, i like that he succeeded essentially where we failed yeah right uh, because of those skills. Also, he's from Akaton. Yeah. Or and weird isn't, local, but like uh, Nick's five yeah. was. Yeah. Perhaps a bit of. Perhaps he's a better sense of how things are done. Whatever the case, it was nice. It was a fitting moment for him mm -hmm. to sort of have success where Lyco didn't. Although Lyco kind of got where he needed to be anyway. Um, yeah, it's like that. kind of got. <laughs> Lyco kind of got there through more underhand means. Yeah, like buying um, trash from a trash dealer. I... And throwing it at someone. And also that kind of illustrates a bit of a difference between the characters. I like seeing these similarities and differences where it's like... Yeah, like... Was say, to, well, I was more like, how do I pump this person for information? Well, like, it's the same path, different stride, right? That's how it is. It's the same path, different stride. Um, like, the, the, like, like was sort of seeing people as like little repositories of knowledge that he has to crack open and get the knowledge out to some extent. Um, that's not literally, of course. He wasn't bashing in anyone's skull. <laughs> I mean, he would if he needed to. Um, that's being like information spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Zombie. Zombie time. Um, yeah, so that, that was. I think there was some good character stuff for everyone. There's some nice plot progression with here is the reveal of Craig, here is. How we're gonna I'm glad that did get delayed get till the fiftieth, right? Because I never really that it was just the way things went with the story. I actually was I kind of expecting it maybe to happen sooner, so I'm kind of then glad it was the fiftieth. I don't know if that's a book thing or something you came up with. I, I just made that up, yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly had no idea because I didn't read much of the background. Partly because there's a lot of it, and partly because he'd also sort of dissuaded us from doing that to an extent. Yeah, like uh, I don't like, mind if he's read a lot. It's just I wouldn't that. necessarily be basing a lot of it on. Yeah. The well, I think you did say earlier not to read Alien Archive. Yeah, that's yeah, primarily... Yeah, that and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. mostly so, stuff. I don't mean if you just read lore stuff about things, but if but I end up contradicting my, it, you know... I have shrug. tried not to look too deep into things because it gives you the ability to shape them more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I do enjoy being able to shape them a bit more freely to give you... Not impression. as loose as the 13th Age, but it is... Boop, boop. Um, it is a setting where you're getting to decide if you're a bit, because it's an RP setting, they're always sort of... Yeah, like Daza... If they're a good one, they're designed to let you flesh things out. To summarise, I think I read you a bit about Daza uh, when we first decided to go there, uh, and it was mostly the stuff about the pre-gap, and all that was from the book. Mm. Um, its effects on people uh, are why people flock to the mutations and stuff, but that's also... Yeah. I've chosen it to affect like Dark Elves slightly differently. Um, maybe it's just their biology, maybe it's their latent magical abilities like you don't know it's just weird yeah. right but yeah i mean there's it's pre-gap you can pretty much do what you want um, mm -hmm, yeah. so that that was interesting as i say bit of lore dump couple of 
uh, well, not a couple of cameos, but like the the re the reemergence of a character we kind of wondered what his fate had been. Not a major character, as you've said, he is just a guy who's a doctor mm -hmm. in the world. But it was He's your doctor. It was the doctor of a main yeah. character, so that's important and, for that uh, reason. So he's someone we recognise, and here he is again, and we know what's happening with him at the moment. Uh, so that's cool, mm -hmm. and also getting to see um, Sparks again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like that was a little bit more like a cameo. I think that'd be more accurate to call a cameo. And again, it was a cute little moment in getting to see um, how differently they do. Um, so yeah, that's lots of fun stuff. Moving the plot forward, getting getting moments for everyone really. Um, as I say, I think I think uh, Weird got a real chance to shine in social situations here, mm -hmm, yeah, um, and that feels fitting. I wanted um, to give Weird more, like, I maybe should have said this when Alex was speaking, but primarily I wanted to give Weird more time, because I definitely feel like others got more time recently, and it was, yeah, I do try and balance as best I can what makes sense to show who's in a position of story, like exposition. Um, yeah, but it was stuck in a shot with a like. Yeah, enough two sessions essentially. Yeah, but to be fair, a lot of that was because you chose to fucking metamorphose into a four-arm like crazy thing. Um, so yeah, really, like you make your own bed, right? Yeah. Well, you start there. So you say I could do something, so I do it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, who does? Um, <laughs> so final final thoughts for me in terms of that is, uh, I think it'll be interesting to see how the captain handles. I mean. I don't think he's going to be able to follow me because of the pre-established problem for non-dead people. Mm -hmm. um, the, those those lifewardly inclined. Mm -hmm. And um, and how he... You know, is he going to be stuck with Conspiracy Craig and a Bone Sage? <laughs> <laughs> because if so, that sounds like a great day for him. Um... <laughs> Just and, yeah, I'm just excited to see what the happens sage. when we get these people together. Like, are we gonna? I have a heart attack. I think's what happened when I have to switch between those <laughs> mindsets. <laughs> hmm. um, I think we will probably have to get them uh, and come back to like come back to the the area we're in, or I don't know whether we want to meet up in Daza because. But I, I definitely want to give a weird the chance to go to Hive Market because Alex mentioned he wanted to do it and also because from what little that I know about it as a person but also from what Lyco would know as a character it would occur to him, I believe, that that is like, yeah. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll probably be able to do good things for us there. <laughs> um, he seems like the, the, the one of the crew who would be most be who best placed to take advantage of yeah, it makes perfect sense. Like again, it's probably mm -hmm. somewhere that Nick spent a lot of time, so it it makes sense oh, yeah. that like weird would want to retread, hundred percent. It's maybe not the worst that now that you've <laughs> made contact with CC, he's maybe want to attempt maybe regrouping because it would still take a couple hours to get back. Remember, so it does give them a bunch of time to do more stuff where they are. Because as I say, it was about a nine-hour mm -hmm. trip for you to get to CC's, so. You could give them, we've got about nine hours to kill with them, and another nine hours if you go back for them, or if you head straight to. Depends what you say to the ship as well, right? And we have, yeah, we have to see what the timeline for that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whether Alice has any idea what that would be. We could send, you know, send them the ship, tell them to join us, and we'll all meet up in, you know, a uh, thingy. I think, you know, it's definitely going to be. You would have to kill time. A lot of time, if that was the case, if you're expecting the final hour to get to Akaton, assuming there's a response from the final hour. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, which I Alice mean, hasn't been like tried for war crimes, you know. Events there won't be. So uh, yeah, <laughs> just depends if you want to keep the party split or not, I, or if you want to maybe swing back and get them to go to Hive Market to keep them together. I don't mind what you do personally. Um, it's just if you're wanting to do stuff in the hive market, it gives the session more scope than being stuck in Daza um, for ah. the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll have about 18 hours to kill in Daza anyway. So, yeah. And they can't really eat there. And hive market sounds like mad crack. 
<laughs> <laughs> so you could maybe calm each other after you've made contact with the ship. Maybe calm them. And we'll kind of have that conversation next session, I think. That'd be quite worth making a note of somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, just so you can decide where you want to go if you're leaving Booster City back to Daza to go to Hive Market or if you're going straight to Hive Market. Um, or straight to the source, as uh, CC suggested. Or perhaps the person behind the speakers that might be you know, the Charlie to the Bosley that is CC. <laughs> you know? Yep. Anything else there, nice uh, Colin? No, I think that's me. I think I have spoken my words for now. Don't worry. Zora and Nico. Oh, fuck, everybody's covered the most of it, but I did love the Scarab Band. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's fantastic. You're welcome. Happy 50th, by the way. I think I should get a, a commemorative goal, because I think that was like one of my early, early goals. <laughs> get a pet Scarab Band. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pet Scarab Band. Yeah. It's his own independent, strong Scarab Band. Jake him a lot of scratch behind the ears. Probably despite you. Be... <laughs> Probably despite me not. <laughs> Give me a go. I got my people. I think as well. We what's interesting is if you do decide as the captain like to like absorb the Skittermander into the group, you've got Zig technically bumps up the chain apart because the Skittermander would, as Lyco kind of suggested earlier, take that kind of role, as it were, as smallest chaotic one. <laughs> it's true. It's Which true. means Zig does get to do his growth within the crew. <laughs> Very true, actually. Literally, literally by a line of succession. I did yeah. to myself, I guess, in my crews. I guess, like, even when I'm, like, 70 year old, I'm going to have, like, a crew and it's going to be a bastard, like, running about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because that's what Zora probably was. <laughs> for a while. Probably. Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, like it was a fun, I'd say, fun fiftieth session for me. Yeah, Loved that the reveal. Absolutely. Thank you, young girl, young girl. Same to you, as I said. Um, the, as I said, it was just nice for me that I could reveal something in the works for a while for the fiftieth. Um, there is something else. Obviously, there is an Akatonian plot afoot uh, that I'm working on and have been for a while. Wasn't sure if that would have made the 50th or not, but other stuff came up, like Zig eating radiation noodles. Um, oh, and sorry about noodles. That. That's okay. And just a lot of stuff with the Queen that I didn't expect to happen, which happened kind of unnaturally or naturally, if you will, um, which was interesting. I really enjoyed a lot of that. I, and obviously, the, the weird adjustments since 43 have been good. So I actually was expecting when you just hit the far from the tree one where he's left and went to the palace. I wasn't sure how long he would take there and then that became a let's break up a dragon and then let's move. I kind of expected that to almost somehow get used to Akaton quicker. I don't know why I thought it was going to be quick. I don't know. But uh, I was kind of expecting to have done the build up and have used finish Akaton by 50. But I'm kind of loving what we've done since use of land, like met the queen, if you will. Everything since then has been so lore heavy. I don't know if you'd have noticed this or not, but so yeah. much <laughs> lore has came since you've got her out. It's been great. I don't think we've done as much lore since like maybe 20 sessions beforehand. Because um, there's loads of stuff about the, the gap and pre-gap, then there's been loads of stuff about like um, the Vesk and androids because of the Warforged stuff she kept mentioning. Um, mm. Loads of stuff about the politics of space and the like the Triaxian plot of like rebuilding a uh, new Absalom, right? Uh, Conspiracy Craig stuff that Colin ventured into. So yeah, like there's been loads that have come up. Um, some really good growth for Zig during that as well. Um some kind of sorrowful moments with the, the mind linking of memories and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's mm. been it's been good. Weird spooky women and drowning pools. You know, being down with the sickness and such. Um, <laughs> weird being born, I guess. No. Uh, the stuff with Query, right, as well. Lore dumping the failed universe. <laughs> so, Which yeah. is our current timeline. Yeah, right. So, yeah. And never mind all the stuff happening on Octurn. That I'm sure isn't any worse now. Not evil. 
<laughs> Definitely Fair. not evil. Definitely not. Uh, thanks everybody it's for understood. playing. As always, it has uh, been fun. Thank you for running. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. And thanks Bye. for all the fish.